to create a reusable mail connection component, which can establish connectivity to a mail server, so we can relay email messages by providing the following configurations. Host, it's the IP address or domain name of the mail server. So the mail server is where the mail application resides and where the mail connector will receive files from or send files to the mail server. Command port on the mail server, it'll listen for incoming connections from the mail client. The default command port for sending is 25 and receiving is 110. Use TLS. So select if using TLS or transport layer security protocol, meaning all data exchanged between the atomsphere and the server is encrypted with a digital security certificate, which makes it difficult to steal your email and or password. Use SSL. So select if using the SSL or secure sockets layer to manually import their certificate into the Java key store. Then all the data exchanged between the atomsphere and the server is encrypted with the digital security certificate the user or password authorization. So you're checking this if you want to provide login credentials to authorize the user with the mail server. Then you have the user. That's the user name of the account on the mail server. And you have the password, which is the password of the account on the mail server. All mail operations listed here can be either static or dynamically defined in the set property shape. The from address it commonly defaults to the connection user. This is usually overwritten. The to address, you can separate multiple addresses with the semicolon, so you can string multiple email addresses together. Subject, so in class we'll be starting out with a static value in this field and later use the set property shape to make it dynamic. Disposition, so this defines if the document should go in the body of the email, being inline or as an attached document. So for our class, ours will be inline or in the body of the email. Content type. It's the identifier for the file format, whether it's HTML or raw. There's many different content types and we'll review them when we get to the activity. So I'm gonna walk through exercise 21, how to create a mail operation. So again, for this exercise, an email needs to be sent to the account executive to tell them when the account records have been updated to closed one with an SLA contract level of gold. So this is gonna be completed by using the mail connector to send an email through an SMTP server to one or many two addresses. If we double click on our mail connector, you're seeing that the connector is already set as mail, the action is send, and that the connection's already configured for us. So we're gonna set the operation. So we're gonna click the create button on operation. We're gonna to have to set the name here for it. So the name is gonna be customer win email. The from address and the to address. The to address for you is going to be your specific email. For me, since I'm the Boomi trainer, we're gonna send it to the Boomi training Gmail, but that's only for me. This to address for you is gonna be your individual email that you want it sent to. The subject's gonna be new customer. The disposition, again, we said was inline. We want it in the body of it and the content type is gonna be text or plain. So we're gonna hit save and close. We're gonna hit okay. And now it's gonna be your turn to complete exercise 21.